they they definitely want to capitalize yeah. out of this. So stay down, man. Yeah. Um, take a fail. First advance. Uh, what they say fail is the first advancement in learning. Mm. Yeah. That's what yeah. fail stands for. Big time. I like that. Fail. You just learn from it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Don't sit there and run from it. Just say, you know what? I don't need to do that anymore. I'm not going to put it right, on. Right, right, <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. Ooh. Like, oh, yeah, shit, dude. <laughs> right, right. $50 on this food that I barely ate. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Like that, but you know, yeah. it's all fun, but just keep going. Mm-hmm. And I, I'll say this. I So I've, I've been hearing about this, uh, the car theft thing or breaking in the car. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That. I just seen some uh, Friday, man. Yeah. I hate to say where I was at because I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Of course, yeah, we with it. So it's this street in Atlanta that mm-hmm. everybody knows that you go on. Um, a lot of black establishments. And mm-hmm. if, you, if you know anything about downtown Atlanta, you know this street that I'm talking mm-hmm. about. They got a certain bar on there that I always go to, like, on mm-hmm. Fridays and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And that's usually, like, my pregame spot before I really start stepping out. So the spot is, like, on the corner. And I'm parked about maybe nine cars back, maybe 12, nine to 12 cars back. Yeah. As I'm walking, bro, every other car, every other two cars, window down, down, down. I'm like, bro, glass on the ground, window down. That joint is getting bad because right. I really want to say that spot, you know what I'm saying, and tell who own it, they need to do something about it. Yeah, right. We, you know what I'm saying, we as people, we support you. You from the, you from the A, so you yeah. know what I'm saying? We gonna always support that spot black on business, bro. It's just getting too crazy, like yeah. the window, like that joint getting crazy. Yeah, bro. And yeah. it's I, sometimes I've seen situations where why you leave your laptop in the car? I've right. seen that, but then there's some situations where they just they just want to do it. Yeah, that, that's yeah. crazy. Don't leave don't leave your stuff out in the open like that, man. Right. You gotta you know what I'm saying something like a laptop at least if you can put it in the trunk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't make, don't Bobby tell somebody to break it. Yeah, but, but I I know for the most part though them Hellcats and them yeah, the, 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 the scat packs. I love packs. all my my people who drive Dodges, man. Yeah. I, and I got I got big love for you. They sound good. I think they yeah. sound super. Good. <laughs> yeah. The Immaculate. security on them cars are trash. Trash. Uh, trash. I used to work at a rental car. Company. Yeah. That's yeah. why I was talking about the job I got fired from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So I used to work there, man, like number one broken car, like broken into car, Charger, Challenger, Nissan Altima. That's it. My homeboy, like, had a Challenger, broke his whole, the whole passenger window. You know what I'm saying? Just to ram through the car, he ain't had nothing in there, but my mama had a Charger, broke the quarter window. In the Charger, they're going to break the quarter window and unlock your door every time. Mm-hmm. And, like, for the car to be, like, that exclusive, it costs that much money, you putting all that money into this motor. Right. Like, upgrade the security mm-hmm. system song. Like, you know what I'm saying? The window break, let, make the alarm go off. Yeah. You can really, like, chirp your car two times on the charge, and, like, I can come and smash the window with a brick, no alarm, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and problems. It's not bad, man. That's, yeah, it's always bad. some type of you know they always gonna suffice something. That's why you know, when it yeah. comes to certain vehicles, you know. Nah, when you pay eighty though, when you pay yeah. them Hellcats, that's too goddamn much. Yeah, that's kid need to be eighty one. That's the difference between luxury and race, right. and, and we talking about like right. racing luxury. You know, you get into like a, a Bentley or anything like that, you touch it with a pinky. Yeah. You know, or even Mercedes. You know, that's that's just they not putting it off into it. American made cars are like that though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, they like, like that. that. And it's, it's really them, them charges and challenges. I don't know what it is, man. That's speed. Everybody yeah. want them, man. It's a status I, car. I, I, yeah. yeah, Status car. You, you know, it's a, a very guy, good I can, car. I can really go in on that. Yeah. I'm a car guy, bro. Yeah. So, like, to me, the, the, the charges, the challenges, like the Hellcat, the Demons, like, you supposed to work your way up to that. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be 19, 20 years old. Respect if you can make the money and mm-hmm. go out there and buy it. Yes, I don't sir. power to you because yeah. I love you for doing it. If you're getting it, go buy it. You got to be you got to build up to that, man. You yeah. can't hop in a car that's 800 horsepower if you ain't never drove that car. Over 300. Right. 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 You ain't going 300 <laughs> miles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really, like, I, I mean, I'm a Mustang guy, so I right. went from V6 to V8 and a build up, mm-hmm. supercharged, change gears. Motors, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Manifolds, it, it goes up. Ready like, for it. You know what I'm saying? Versus you just hopping straight in the muscle. Like, you getting a whole damn yeah. thousand horsepower power car and you 22. You gonna tear that bitch up? You don't know how to hit curves because no, it's too much don't. power. You don't, you don't, man. You do not know how to drive <laughs> right. a car. in the rain too. Mm-hmm. Cause I got a friend. She working insurance. She was like, "Oh, that's the number one car." You see it? She was like, "What kind of car you got?" Let me guess. You got a Hellcat. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But you, you know, at the club though, like I said, you know, you know, you got, you know, goons know. 
Yeah. It's something in them cars. And it's at a, it's at a club, especially, and you know, like you said, when you're promoting this at prestigious spots, they already know, like, yeah, it's a lick. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely going to happen. Better valet, boy. Yeah. <laughs> you better valet, valet huh? Because at one point, I know they was they was just breaking them to see they had guns in them. Yeah, that's what they started yeah. like on partner child. Mm-hmm. Hopping in. That's really what they breaking in cars to see what you got. Guns mm-hmm. are like some electronic, a little money or something if you left from back. I say, mm-hmm. I say put it by the, um, by the spare tire. Yeah. They ain't gonna check that. So you better valet, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Start Uber and the lift. Mm, that's right. That, that's <laughs> true. That's true. <laughs> it's just, it's getting to the point, it's, it's too bad. Y'all remember at the time where it was, uh, well, like one of them, like, them young dudes that stole like 90 charges or something? Something you know, like that. Something that like that happened out here? Did it happen out here? That was like, oh, they, <laughs> they knew they was targeting. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was like maybe a year or something ago, a year or two ago, man. Like young cat. I think I think they said the ring leader was like maybe 19, 20 years old. Charges. Out here stealing. Like, they said they had like 20, 30 cars just out here just... Crazy. Just to take them, <laughs> man. Just to take them, and I know. And, and, uh, and speaking of that, just I know the whole sex trafficking thing was big last year. So as a promoter, do you kind of have to kind of scope areas out and kind of? Yeah, man. I really. I mean, when I first started doing it, I'm not gonna say I didn't pay attention to it mm-hmm. like that, but it wasn't as dominant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As yeah, it was. yeah, so, yeah. And then on my promotion team, it was all guys for the most part, but now we we got females. You know what I'm saying? And, like, they're like my sisters, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want them to be in a situation where they get, like, maybe too drunk or something because, I mean, like, we promote, we drink. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I have to keep my eye out for stuff like that. And it's crazy that you have to do that. That, like, it really happened. Like, them folks really, like, be in the club. They have a whole operation. They have somebody in the club buying people drinks. Mm -hmm. You might have somebody outside the club waiting on them people that you bought drinks to come out the club. Yeah, I'm going to walk you to your car, da-da-da. Next thing you know, you're gone. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I I definitely um I always kind of keep my eye open. And then just like kind of being a nigga anyway, you always like watching your surroundings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and all got that. to big time. So yeah, especially yeah. when there's a lot of energy. Because right? I was telling somebody, I was like, I don't think that it's the white fans that everybody was assuming. <laughs> right. I was like, no, nah, it's not. Yeah, so it's, it's so gonna be a G wagon. Right? It's gonna yeah. be a car that every. It's gonna be something. It's gonna be bait. It's so gonna be regular cars. Yeah, like, regular, like you said, a G yeah. wagon, something like that, a motherfucking Hyundai Sonata, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like you said, the white vans, that's just so practical. Yeah. Like, y'all need to start watching movies. White van after we done transferred you. Mm-hmm. Exactly, yeah. And it's going to have about eight people in there. Right. You feel me? Boy, they just have a Sprinter van. You just know, because yeah. you want to hide. Yeah. You want to yeah. hide it. Party right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I definitely started to pay attention. When we got the females on our team, so I guess when I really started to pay attention because, <laughs> you know, if you like any girl you're cool with, you're going to always look out for mm-hmm. Of course. So... That made me like really hone in and like watch everybody mm-hmm. around us. You know? Just that, I guess it's just that 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 patriarch thing we got going on where it's just you start getting real, getting protect mode when you see like you see a drunken female, you like hold on, make sure she get home because mm-hmm. she ain't right. right. Nah, that you that you her dude. Nah, nah, nah. We right. we gonna get her. Yeah, cause. I'm glad that it's getting like that. Because back in the G, bro, like, like mm-hmm. you just drunk that girl, man. Yeah. You know, She's sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah. how niggas is, man. Yeah, you know, I'm you you really, you, you got to care, man. Because it's, you know, you know, Louisiana, man, you know, you know, when it comes to trafficking, man, you don't hear that in Louisiana. You right. know it happens. Right. It's probably big enough. So when I came out here just to see it was a big thing, like it's serious and it's on the list, you know what I mean? That's wild. This is the you know, in the club, you know, you don't think about that. You'll have to look, and I that's never, never yeah, you know, that you had to look for something like that as a, as a club, you know, promoter. So you bouncing around to like different venues or whatever. Mm-hmm. So you doing different venues like each and every day. Yeah, um, Wednesday Cafe Circle. Uh huh. Um, that's from 10 to 3, then okay. yeah, after hours from Babylon. They really open uh-huh. at like 4 o'clock in the day. But they go all the way to 6 in the morning. Mm-hmm. So we usually get there oh, like yeah, 2.30. Rock. Okay. 2 30 and we go all the way to 6 in the morning. Um, Thursday, I don't have a night spot, but we got Babylon after hours Thursday. Friday, back at Cafe, Cafe Circuit for happy, happy hours and um, <laughs> the regular night turn up. Then we back at happy hours, I mean, yeah. uh, after hours. Saturday, back at Cafe Gotcha, Saturday. gotcha. Right, right. Um, we got Oak Saturday night, and then we had After Hours again at Babylon. Awesome. Sunday, we're at uh, Encore right now. Okay. And then we go from 12 to 6 there, then we go from Living Room from 5 to 12, okay. then After Hours again. So, sir, oh, yeah. we talking about uh, off P-Month. 
What? Is oh, it, no, it, not Cirque. That's not Cirque. Cirque. Okay, Cafe Cirque. Cirque is yeah. on Edgewood. Got oh, Cirque. I've seen, okay, because I was looking for one. Okay, Cirque's yeah. off Edgewood. Edgewood yeah. be lit, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he be time. lit, man. I was just talking for real. to my uh, dudes I promote with, man, like, uh-huh. that I came, I came back from Atlanta, and I, the only thing I really don't know is, like, my true Edgewood history. I know it's, like, super prominent, got a lot of black excellence. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I know, like, with the church that's right over there, that's, like, heavy. It's a heavy staple in the community. Mm-hmm. And, like, I can always feel something when I'm on edge with mm-hmm. yeah, I so can feel the spirits of the old black yeah, people. It's like, the energy. Yeah. It is. It's, it's, it's the, energy, it's the, the energy is there because it's never died. That's And, I mean, if you just ride through, it's like it's just the murals they have. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's just it's historic. You know, like when I went out there for the first, that's one of the first streets I, I learned about, like, man, I was looking for it. Because you yeah. just, I'm like, man, what is it? It's what it got to yeah. be popping. Like, yeah. you see all these different things. And then I actually went down there and just seen, like, oh, yeah, it's oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, before yeah. Corona hit, bro, you could hit Edgewood on Friday night. Uh, like, you could, like, just park your car. And, and just walk. You know what I'm saying? Walk. You could walk the whole okay. Edgewood because the police used to block it off. Edgewood yeah. and Albanel. So, like, you could walk all that, man, just have fun all night from 10 o'clock to 6 in the morning. Yeah, I used my shit. used to be the sound table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, <laughs> I, see, I remember, man, I used to hit the hookah. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. That little joint, bro, <laughs> yeah. ain't no bigger than this room right now. Yeah. That bitch be Lit. rolling. But, like, they let you, like, have the joint yeah. and stuff all on the sidewalk. But that church right there shut it down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that ain't coming. That, that ain't coming. Yeah. Cause they be going to church Sunday morning, and you know what I'm saying. They still they still like that. Over. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> getting it in. So as far as uh, relationships, how do you what what kind of gauges with the as far as with the club owner? How do you kind of dictate if you want to kind of okay he he bullshitting us or he's actually right yeah yeah. Um, I go through a lot of that. I go through with uh, my manager, my homeboy mm-hmm. Will. Mm. He'll kind of gauge it. He's so, he so like direct and blunt. That's the one thing I like about him. He's like honest. You know what I'm yeah. saying? just honest and yeah. straight up. Yeah. And so um, he deal a lot with those club owners and he tell me a lot of things that you should look out for. Um, like inconsistency, you know what I'm saying? Or the ability to be able to uh, listen to a promo team. Hey, we need this. We need this. People are saying this. And uh, the owners are willing to compromise. You know what I'm saying? And work with you or like give you a certain like okay, uh, a certain deadline. If you don't make this deadline, that is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, certain type of things like that. People just with good business practices for the long, for the most part. Um, no bad energy. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? So Big you look time. out for things like that. Uh, people who are really straight up direct, mm-hmm. not gonna lie about the money. Um, and just real like uh, open. You know, yeah, you know? never moving the finish. Always, I hate people always want to move the finish line. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> this is what it is. Either we made yeah. it or we didn't. You know what I'm saying? And we can go from there. Because I said if if a person is um pre- uh, approaching you as if they're doing you a favor. Right. Abort because it's not gonna. It's gonna be one of those relationships where you're gonna feel unwelcome. And it's gonna be. So it's gonna be a struggle. Right. Because it's like, oh well, you don't have to be doing this because I get somebody else. So I don't. I try to stay away from stuff like that. Yeah, that, that's definitely true, man. It's it's a business venture. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? It's not a favor. You know what I'm saying? We going in yeah. business together because you need me just as much as I mm-hmm. need you. Yeah, exactly. You ain't not exactly. promoting mutual. <laughs> you ain't promoting. Your, yeah. your, your, the club owner need the mm-hmm. promoter. Right. Because you know a lot of club motors don't want to do it. That's you did it or something like that. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to do it though. Cause you got you got so many other mandates that you mm, got to right, take care of, and right? Hiring and firing this and the whole operation piece. You just want to be able to open the doors and let the money come in. Yeah, promotion is key for anything. Look at it like tonight. His company is willing to spend millions of dollars to get a 30 second commercial. 30 yes, seconds. Bro, yes, that shit yes. crazy, ain't it, Mike? Promotion. 30 so. seconds. Who y'all? Who y'all got tonight? Who you think uh, win?